Welcome back, everyone. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski. Looking forward to this EASHL showdown. Referee Gilles ready to drop the puck on this one. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Puck is dropped to that hockey. Takes the pass. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed. Moves it to Stravolopoulos. Quick feed down low. Moves the puck. Anaheim's got it now. Savage is going to play it against the half wall. Here he is in front, and he whiffs on it, and they can't convert on the play. And finally, a whistle slows things down here after all sorts of action in front. Yeah, they need a change. They're scrambling all over the place in their defensive zone. They can reorganize now. Anaheim's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Answered the call there. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Great heads up play by the defender. Moves it to Savage. Good hit on the play. And he takes a shot, comes up with the stop. Pretty solid stop, and the puck goes into the corner to safety. Manages to hang on. Right on the doorstep, can't connect. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Trying to escape the pressure. Passes over to Iceberg. Anaheim's looking to break out. Dishes it to Savage. Slides the puck over. Couldn't find the intended target. And the extended stick ends that one. Can't find his man. Takes the feed. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Dano's taking it from his own end. Slides the puck across to Iceberg. The ankle burners gain possession in their own end. Grabs control of it at the point. Denies him in front. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. The ankle burners win the draw. Too much congestion in front. He tries to tuck it in. That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As if that looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. Misses the net. You're going to go back and kick yourself for that one because he wants that on the net. He doesn't miss it by much. From the neutral zone now. Strong defensive effort. Takes it at center. Moves into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Charlottetown's got the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Charlottetown's looking to break out of their own end. Wrist shot from the slot. Makes the glove stop. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned, but he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still scoreless in this one. Anaheim's got possession here in their own end. The ankle burners move the puck in the defensive zone. And the linesman calls icing on the play. The centermen glide into position. Gets a hold of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. And they send it right back to him. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Charlottetown's got the puck in the defensive end. Iceberg's got it in the offensive end. And he loses control of the puck. A blast! Oh, what a stop! Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Oh, and he 
tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And he rings the post. Pretty tough to come much closer than that. Scores! game's first goal and it comes late here in the first. I've liked the way they've played the period, but really the opposition's played just as well. There hasn't been much to choose from until this marker. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Quick pass to Savage. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Islanders have it from their own end. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. In the final moments of this period, Anaheim's up one zip. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Strobilopoulos takes it across the line. Here he is, wrists it on net, and that goes wide. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the first period comes to an end. Anaheim's got the start they wanted. They get on the board quickly, and they take a 1-0 lead into intermission. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The ankle burners must love the way that this game is played out. They're controlling the majority of the shots and they've got the one goal lead. And now it's over to Gregory. And that's picked off in front. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Receives the pass. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Anaheim's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. The ankle burners get a hold of the puck off the draw. Here's an offensive chance. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Charlottetown's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Strobilopoulos. From the boards, he takes that pass. And will play on as that goes off the outside of the post. The ankle burner's lead in the game doesn't get stretched. It's a scoring chance, a good one too, James. But it hits the post and stays out. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Savage is going to serve two for holding on this play. He's not going to like the call, but he's got a fistful of sweater, and you're going to have to pay for it. You can't take it home with you. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Tries to get it out of the zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Right up front! Comes up with the stop. Through center along the wing. On the attack along the boards. And he totally whiffs on that one. And he loses both the puck and his balance Tag, after that it. hit. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Strobilopoulos. 
takes it into the slot. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Move to the middle, and he was right there. They can't connect. Savage is out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. No, nope, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Denies that opportunity. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Denies him again. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. The ankle burners are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. Gregory's won it in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Iceberg. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Intercepts the pass. Anaheim scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. The ankle burners have had no shortage of opportunities, and as a result, they're now up by two. It's not a time to take your foot off the pedal, but they've been the better team. They've dominated most of play, and now they've got a comfortable two-goal lead. Couldn't connect on that pass. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Anaheim's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Big time stop there. The ankle burners gain control of the puck against the wall. Gives them a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Stoner's going off to the box for two minutes. He was about halfway through that swing, James, and the official had his arm in the air. Would have been at least a base hit in your days as a ball player. Uh, that might have been more than that. Quick feed to Strobelopoulos. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And that pass goes awry. Closes the gap along the wall. Here's a chance to set up now. Takes the feed at the point. And they can't connect. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. The ankle burners have it against the wall. Moves the puck up to Strobelopoulos. Can't get a hold of that pass. Gets it out of his own end. Nice pass. Sends a pass over. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. The ankle burners scoop it up along the boards. Charlottetown's got it in the neutral zone. Rocks him on the play. Takes a shot, turns it aside with the glove. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 2-0 is the score. The ankle burners win the draw. Anaheim's got it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Charlottetown's got control of it now from their own end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Moves inside. Centering pass. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Quick snap. Stones him in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. The ankle burners continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. The Islanders win the draw. Excellent stick work on the play. Uses the force on that hit. Big hit along the boards. He uses the boards in perfect form here. He closes off the gap and runs them in. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Officials making the call. You know, you had, what, over 400 goals? Different kind of stick work here little different I, I would say this is probably the penalty I took as much as any really yeah you get a little bit behind and or you get a little bit frustrated in the slash is the one or is that the Ferraro temper no it's yes <laughs> second frame almost done well inside a minute now and sends it just out of reach Anaheim's gonna play the puck from behind the cage now a quick pass to Savage Handles the puck, and that goes wide! Just misses the net, but really, the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Horn sounds.
seconds to end the second period. One side still in search of their first goal in this one after 40 minutes of play. It's 2-0. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Anaheim's power play doesn't have a lot of time left to work with as play resumes here in this period. Takes a shot with the stop. Big save by the goaltender once again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Nearing the point. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just going to play a tight box. They look exhausted. And another stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Anaheim's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Passes it to Gregory. Can't catch up to the pass. Here's an odd man rush. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. On the backhand, and that clangs off the iron. In close, he scores while well, it rains and pours. Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominating performance. The ankle burners are back to center ice here. They have owned this game. Unless they fall asleep, James, this thing is over. They've dominated. Pass to Strombolopoulos. Charlottetown's got the puck in their own end. Can't connect. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Looking to set up offensively. Moves it to Savage. Takes control of the puck. Right to the middle, and they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Rips it. Denies him with a save. The ankle burners. Offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Strombolopoulos' vision brings everybody into the play. When he's got the puck, everyone on the ice is somewhat dangerous. Picks off the pass. Couldn't make that one happen. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here's the official call. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Another chance here on the man advantage. Their power play quarterback's got a big shot. James, I think they've got to use him more than they have. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Directs it on over to Dano. Charlottetown's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Gregory. Nothing doing on that. Anaheim's got possession while undermanned. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. 
past the midway mark in this period. 3-0 is where we sit. Anaheim's won the draw in the neutral zone. Puck picked up in the open ice. The ankle burners get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. There's the whistle icing the call. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. After the icing, there's a little more pressure on the centerman to win the draw. Misses! Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Anaheim's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dano. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Iceberg's moving the puck through his own zone. Smart defensive play there. Sends one across. Moves it over to Iceberg. Coughs it up at center. Moves it quickly over to Savage. Knocked away. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's Boom. a shot. He scores! James, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time, it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. Sends the pass over. Feeds it to Strobolopoulos. Nice feed inside the offensive zone from the boards. On the doorstep, and they can't convert on the play. The Islanders have it now. Picks off the feed. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. Whoa. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get... for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Anaheim's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Handles a puck at the point. Here's a short pass to Strobelopoulos. There's another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck Sit is down. Away. Rocks him on the play. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Anaheim's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. Up big time late in this third. The ankle burners will go to work here in the offensive zone. Shuts him down. A defenseman loves this. The puck doesn't stay in front of the net. It's now in the corner. He doesn't have to worry about fighting another guy for position. Anaheim's got it from behind the net. Knocks the puck loose. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Trying to gain a step. Flips it across. And he goes back to regroup. He scores! That's two! Earlier in the game, he was able to score. I thought he's kept his energy up, and now has worked hard enough to get himself into position for another one. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Couldn't complete the play. Moves the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Charlottetown's looking to break out of their own end. Anaheim's got possession here in the neutral zone.
He got a lot of support around him, but he'll get credit for chucking up that zero tonight. Yeah, he was sharp tonight, James. I like the way not only that he didn't give up any goals, of course, who doesn't love that, but the fact that he controlled the rebounds, he was really good around the crease.
Welcome back to the EASHL. Everyone ready to go here. So too is the official. I'm James Sabalski. He's Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and we are underway. Quick feed to White. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Here he is on the backhand. Stops him with the paddle. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Bartley's carrying it ahead. Puck grabbed by Gregory. The Predators take over on possession. And that's just out of reach. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. Charlottetown's won the draw. After the icing, now you've got the puck again. You can wear them down quickly. Aegon's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Harvey's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Predators will play it in their own end. Up along the wing. Hangs onto the puck. Great poke check on the reach. Cambridge has got a hold of it along the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Iceberg's got the puck. And now he moves it to Austin. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick feed to Harvey. Grabs it and rips it. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Moves it to Austin. And he can't hang on after that hit. And now he angles it across to Iceberg. Here's a move in tight. With the stop. Cambridge has got the puck along the wall. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Islanders grab possession to the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Denies him in close. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. And the officials waving off icing here. Puck scooped up by Gregory. Tried to get too cute with it and loses possession. Oh, he's trying to dangle there, but he loses the puck. Now he's got to chase it back. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gregory. Strong use of the body. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Bartley's showing a lot of heart here. It takes a lot of courage and gumption to finish a shift when you're injured. We hope that he's okay. More than half the period has expired. Still no score in this one. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Cuts into the paint. Oh, flashes the leather to get a piece of it. High quality chance, high quality save. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Trying to shake loose. The Predators gain control of the puck against the wall. Tosses it on to Harvey. Rocked him in the open ice. Knocked out of harm's way on a dangerous opportunity. A belt has got it in the defensive zone. Jabs the puck away. Trying to gain a step. All alone. Great save. And he says no. And now it's grabbed by Abdullah. Quick pass to Dano. Fails to find the open man. Cambridge has got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't complete the play. And now it's over to Hag. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. The Predators will play it from the defensive zone. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Chops it out of danger. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And that's taken by the defense. Big play inside the defensive zone. And here's the pass to Harvey. 
Charlottetown's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Iceberg. Not able to connect. Taken by Abdullah. Slides the puck over. Here's a short pass to Hang. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Here in the late goings of the period, we've still got zeros on the board. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And that one's broken up. Great block there. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Islanders keep pumping shots on goal. They can't find the first one. Maybe if you get one, the dam opens up. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. And stirring the pot here. A little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. Austin's lugging the puck. He's got a step. What a move into the offensive zone. And puts it up the crossbar. Had the goalie beat up high, but not the bar. Abdullah's got it in the defensive end. A chance in front. Can connect. The Islanders are in transition. They've got numbers. Cambridge has got control of it now from their own end. Pokes the puck away. And a great save. That knocks him off the puck. Scores. The Predators are up by one here in the second. I've liked a lot of their game, but it's like they can't get these other guys to go away. It stays close, but at least they're playing from in front. Moves the puck across to Gregory. Charlottetown's got it in the neutral zone. They've got numbers. Slides wow. across. Denies him with the save. Puck picked up by Hag. On the doorstep. Oh, just a textbook hit. And leaves the comfort of his crease to play the puck. Taken along the wall by Abdullah. And here's the pass to Harvey. Picks off the pass. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. From the point, looks to make something happen. And the official stopped the play. Let's see what the call is. White's going to get two for charging. Sometimes it just looks... Look at this, he's calling him out here, Ray. Yeah, he wants to go. He's not very happy. Nice job tying up his opponent. Gets in front of it. Aegon simply going to slow it down here, Ray. Do you like the strategy? I do, but he hasn't touched the puck much this period, James, so you get to handle it a little bit here and maybe a little nervous, so you jump on it and get to reset. Charlottetown's got it in the offensive zone. And here's a shot. Scores! That's how you draw up with the extra attacker. Well, you've got the extra man, so you want to move the puck more quickly. You want to retrieve it. 
with greater numbers. They do it all well, and they're on the board. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Gregory's won the faceoff. Cambridge has got the puck against the boards and makes the save. The Predators take it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Hag. That pass goes a little sideways. The Predators have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone. Whoa. Here he is on a breakaway. Oh, what a save. That gives a shot of adrenaline to his team, turning aside the breakaway. The Islanders have the puck now. And it's a quick pass to Dano. Levels him against the wall. Cambridge has got the puck along the boards. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Abdullah's pick on the play has resulted in an interference penalty. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it, lump it. Charlottetown's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. A belt shall got the puck in his own zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice as the puck goes out of play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We are all tied up in this one. The Predators win it. Charlottetown's ready to go on the attack. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice. Get off the ice. Get some new people out there. Move to the middle. One-timer. And he comes up with a huge stop. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. And now he tries to get it across to Iceberg. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Quick pass over to Gregory. Violent collision. He moved in quickly. If you go at that pace, you take him. And we got a leader as he tucks it into the net. These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. Oh, he tries the windmill glove save here, but there's so much traffic. I don't know that he really had a look at it. He's trying to catch it, and he missed it. Charlottetown's finally gone in front. What's the approach now, Ray? Shouldn't change. I mean, the game's not going to spread out anyway. Even though it's a one-goal game instead of tied, it's not going to all of a sudden be a shootout, I wouldn't think. Takes the feed. Here's a chance up front, and that's blocked. Now over to Hang. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Charlottetown's got possession at center. Dano's got it along the wing. And that one's broken up. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And they'll dump it in. Receives the pass. Austin stick handling in his own zone. Let's it fly. Whoa. He scores! They get one, and you think that the game's going to flatten out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. Charlottetown's given themselves a little breathing room here late in the second. I would say the next couple of minutes before we get to the intermission are really vital. You'd like to go in just in the spot you're in right now. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Cambridge is looking to break out. Puck grabbed by Hag. Nice pass. Slides the puck to a belt Schauser. Dumps it in. Charlottetown gained possession along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Charlottetown's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Look at this, pushing it. Yeah, it got heated up pretty quickly. Gregory's won the draw. Blast from the blue line. Oh, what a stop! Save made by the goalie. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end.
40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Cambridge has had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. And makes the routine save. The Islanders lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Quick feed down low. Iceberg's got it in the offensive zone. Cambridge is looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Harvey. That sails over the net. I'm going to have to get both hands out to count the number of misses he's had tonight. What a long evening. Picked up along stinky. the wall by Gregory. Oh, that was Through stinky. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Preventing any sort of opportunity to set up with the extra attacker. She had this one lined up for a while, Ray. You can see the ill intent to this play from about 15 feet away. Some pushing and shoving here, heating up. Yeah, the few words lead to a little bit more, it looks like. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Charlottetown's ready to go on the attack. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Almost lost oh. the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. It's a big hit right over there. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Now, that's got to hurt. I don't care how much equipment you have or how good the mask is. That thing's coming 80-plus miles an hour. That's got to hurt. One time's it denies him on the play. Cambridge has got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And the puck clears the zone. Moves it to Austin. From the left side, they gain the zone. Great hit. And that's another power play marker. Well, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. Oh, everybody's staring behind the net at the puck carrier. Hey, guys, turn around. The guy that's going to shoot it is standing right in front of the net, and it's in the cage. The Islanders continue to rack up the goals here in this third period. They can do no wrong. It doesn't seem to matter who's on the ice. They're the better team. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Unable to reach that one. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Trying to get it out. Charlottetown's got a hold of it along the wall. Swing and a miss. A Belchaus taking it from his own end. And he slides it quickly to Harvey. Centered out in front. And they can't connect. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. White's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. About halfway through this play, you can see him. Ah, I'm in the wrong spot. He should have let him go. He didn't, and he gets called. And he's going to pay for it now. Tempers flaring. Yeah, a little bump together, a little friction. Looks like the guys want to get it going. Gregory's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Iceberg scores, and the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Charlottetown's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Nice poke check. Quick pass Whoa. to Gregory. I know you're nice and tidy up there, James, but that's a messy hit right down here. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. 
Charlottetown's got a hold of it against the wall. Aegon's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Charlottetown's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Fires it on net. He scores. He completes the hat trick. And here come the doors opening up. They'll come out to clean up the hats that are going to be tossed onto the ice. Three times he's been able to score tonight. Charlottetown's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Looks to make a play over to Iceberg. Runs him hard against the boards. Fires it right on the doorstep. He scores! What a goal! Charlottetown's lamp-lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Steps into all of that. From the point, they take control of it. He scores! Oh, the old double dip makes this a fantastic night for you. You know it's your night. You're feeling it. And now he's got two. The Islanders have been enjoying pad the stat night here. It's been going all night long here, even in the third. They came to play tonight. They have not let their opponent breathe. And it has been a dominating performance. Charlottetown's on the attack. Cambridge has got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Across the line. Quick shot, and there's the save. Gabrielle's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Charlottetown's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Gregory's won a big draw on their own end. And now he moves it to Iceberg. Here they are on the attack. Cambridge has got the puck in their own end. And he's able to handle that one. Puck scooped up by White. Look at the Savardian spinorama. White's got it against the boards. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Here's a chance to get it out. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. And they fail to go tape to tape. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. Big stop by the keeper. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Charlottetown's, he's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Slides away from his crease now to play the puck. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. He's calling him out. Did he ever? This is, this is going to get heated. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Rocks him. And punts it out of midair. Cambridge has got him along the wall. Charlottetown's got the puck along the wall. Boom! He might have a step here. Goes right to the crease. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Oh, absolutely owns the crease tonight. Aegon's reflexes help him out. A dangerous chance he turns away. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. There he is. He's got a step. Great save. Oh, I thought he scores. Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up, and he finishes this breakaway beautifully. Charlottetown's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Tensions rising. They're going to go here. This isn't about winning the game anymore. This is about settling a score. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat.
Too little, too late. You get in a fight, but your team has just gotten their lunch handed to them. This is where you almost wonder if there's run time available. I hope so. Up, oh, and a challenge being thrown down here. Yeah, that came out of nowhere a little bit, and the challenge is down. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Charlottetown wins by a wide margin, and really, their offense came to play. They were aggressive, they were on the puck, they held the puck in the offensive zone for what seemed like miles of the game. They didn't really ever get threatened.